today is the day Angel finally gets his own show. Isn't that right? Are you a pretty bird? You have no lack of confidence whatsoever. Today you're going to choose my art supplies. Are you going to be nice? Oh, you're so sweet! Yay! I'm happy! <laughs> Alright, let's go write some prompts for you, okay? I'll be, I'll be right back. One minute. Someone's jealous. Why you gotta be on the floor like that? Why you gotta be on the floor? I am not even joking when I'm saying Angel is afraid of 90% of things. And that's because for the first eight years of his life, he was actually neglected and abused until I rescued him and spoiled the crap out of him. Aww. So he still carries a bit of a baggage. What I'm going to do for him to take these papers is I'm going to write down two opposites or two ideas and then stick them on his cage and let him decide which one he wants to go and remove first because he likes to play with paper. This week Next shout out goes to Charity Goza. If you want a shout out in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below, either on the Wednesday or Friday video, or hashtag Nerdy Crafter on Instagram anytime with any of your creations. Time to write down those prompts. So the first thing we have to know, do we do only clay or clay and resin? Next, do I have to use paint or no paint? All right, this is where he's going to either be mean or nice. Any color? versus five random colors. And lastly, tools versus no tools, which would be really hard if I'm using resin, which would be the only exception because it's toxic and you don't want to put your fingers in there, so I'll use a toothpick. I don't think he has a favorite color, but he might actually be scared of some colors, which I think he's scared of really dark colors, so all these should be fine. I'm doing a test and he's cautious. There you go, yay! You ready? Let's do it. First test is clay or clay and resin. All right, so I'm putting them at the corner of his cage. Otherwise, if I put it one end to the other, he just runs towards it and starts removing it before I put the other one. Let's see what he does. Oh. Yay! And both. we're not doing both. We're taking the first one, which is clay only. No paint versus paint. Oh, we, we can't do both. So he picked paint. You need to give me space here. Oh, <laughs> of course not. All right, so the first one is five random colors. And on the other side, any color. Oh, yay! You're being too nice. So he took any color. And then we have tools. And on the other side, it's no tools. Which one are you taking? Tools! Thank you! You're the best, right? So far, Angel has made it pretty easy for me. I think I'm gonna give a theme for him to choose from. So I'm gonna add a few of those and see which ones he selects. So I made steampunk kawaii video game feather because you're a burb. And then any theme, which I hope is not what's going to happen because then it's going to make it harder for me. All right, you ready to play again? All right, let's do it. By the way, it's going to be process of elimination. So whatever he chooses, I'm gonna pin it against the next one. First match is steampunk versus kawaii. All right, steampunk wins. Next we have any theme versus steampunk. Oh no, any theme wins. He's ruining the paper. Now we have feather versus any theme. And the winner is... Dang it, any theme again? Now you're being evil. And the last one is video game versus any theme. I am so worried right now. Wait, okay, yay! Beak a bird So here are the prompts that Angel chose. At first, I thought he was being nice because these are materials I'm used to using. But now I had to decide on an idea to make out of those things, being very conscious of the restrictions I have. So because we chose clay and paint, I didn't want to just use paint as a kind of small detail area. I really wanted to emphasize on the fact that I'm using clay, emphasize on the fact that I'm using paint, and emphasize on tools. So I really wanted to have something that had color and texture at the same time. And that's why I went with an arena from Super Smash Brothers because it has color, but at the same time we have to use paint again later on to, you know, make it less vibrant. It was... Wait, 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 hang on. Hang on right here. Does anyone remember the misheard lyrics from Super Smash Brothers a good few years ago? If you don't, I'll leave a full version of it in the description box below. If you want a good laugh, definitely go for it. Here's a little snippet. Honestly guys, like I thought this was going to be easy. But drawing inspiration from limited materials that someone else chose from you 
that's hard. That was so hard. I was like, no, what do I do? It took me a while to, to figure out what I wanted to do. And for those of you asking, yes, you can definitely paint unbaked clay and then bake it in the oven later on as long as your paint is non-toxic. Before some of you tell me that foil paper is not a tool, it is a tool when it comes to sculpting. It's, it's just like wires, okay, just trust me. Trust me on that one. And as you can see again, focusing on texture, I used a toothbrush to make the floating island. Today's the day I quit crafting because this is the second spider I find. I, I just can't deal with this, guys. No, don't hide. No, I can't craft if you- Oh my god, it jumps! Oh hell no! I was able to trap it in a glass jar, unharmed. I will attempt to evict it. Save our souls. It shall be released into the wild. If you don't hear from us, send help. This is where my creativity became limited. I really wanted to make this island a floating island by making the resin hold it up. So it is a technique that is very doable with resin. Maybe I'll do it in a future video, but I sat there thinking, what can I do? So I ended up using Liquid Sculpey as my water effect. It's pretty clever if I say so myself. So here's what it looks like after it's baked for our liquid clay water. I really like the effect on this. It was totally not on purpose, but I'll, I'll take it. The challenge is to build the background to make the actual stands kind of look like they're floating in the air. I am really curious to know who is your favorite Smash Brother character and if you don't have a Smash Brother character favorite, what is your favorite video game character in general? I um, will tell you more about my Smash Brother experience near the end. It is super satisfying for some weird reason for me anyways, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but to make actually tiny brick walls. I don't know why, there's just something really cool about it, adding the moss effect, and then texturing it, and then later on adding the brown wash to make all these bricks stand out. Is there's, there's there's just something really cool about it. You guys will should try it. You should definitely try it. So I wanted that broken piece of ruin to be in the back because I do need something for the platforms to stand on later on. And so yeah, it wasn't just aesthetic, it was also for functionality. Because this is not mixed media, I could not use real rocks. So I had to make my own rocks out of polymer clay and then stick them around and then afterwards shade them, but with paint. Again, not with chalk pastels. Very good. Feeling so limited, but you know what? I think I pulled it off. Here we go for the final bake. I, I have an idea what it's going to look like, but what's really going to make everything pop is adding the brown wash after it's baked and cooled. So stay tuned for that because I, I know, I know what it's supposed to look like. Sometimes my brain and my skills don't match. Super Smash Brothers inspired stage that was built by my parents' choices. There's so many things that I wish I could have done differently. I really wanted to add real rocks, but I was like, that would be cheating. And then I wanted to add resin, I was like, but that would be cheating. So I, I opted as much as possible not to use mixed media. Time to show Angel what we made. Angel Bird, I have something to show you. You ready? Look what we made. Look. For next time, you promise you're gonna be a little meaner. So we'll make sure people in the comment section can put some good choices for you again. All right. You excited? How about now? <laughs> Still no. Bye. 
if you guys have other craft materials, opposites that you want me to try, let me know in the comment section below. So let's say, for example, clay versus resin and clay, colored clay versus white only, but that would really be hard if I had no option of paint. If you play Super Smash Brothers, let me know which is your favorite character in the comment section below. I, I really do suck at Super Smash Brothers. Nobody has to touch me. I will just auto destroy myself for some reason because I'm just button smashing. But take me on on Marvel vs. Capcom. It's my game. If you guys want to see another crafting video, make sure you click up here. And if you want to watch a salty video, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.